Hello everyone, I'd like to welcome you back to my YouTube channel. My name is Chef Rex de Guzman and it's my mission to popularise Filipino cuisine here in London and the UK. One of the ways that I do that is by educating you in how to uh, cook and learn about Filipino food, culture and its history. So today in this episode we're going to be making leche flan. Leche flan is a very famous Filipino dessert. So the steps for this recipe are as follows. Number one, we're going to make a dark caramel. Number two, we're going to put the caramel into our uh, dish. So I'm going to use a half gash known for this one. Number three, we're going to make the custard for our flan. We're going to be using eggs, condensed milk and evaporated milk. And number four, we are going to be cooking it set and setting it. And number five, we are finally going to be portioning it and serving it. So the ingredients you're going to need for this recipe are 12 eggs, one tin of condensed milk, one tin of evaporated milk, caster sugar and a little bit of water. Okay, the first step we're gonna do is we're gonna make a dark caramel. If you've made caramel before, that's great. If not, don't worry. I'm gonna show you a way how you can uh, get it consistent and you can get it to the right darkness that you'd like. So first, we're going to basically take our caster sugar. So we're just tipping our caster sugar in. And you can make caramel without putting water. What I'm gonna do is today is I'm gonna put the water in. I believe it's a lot safer um, for you to use water to mix, to dissolve the sugar first, um, as opposed to making a caramel dry. And literally just gonna gently dissolve it. So now that the uh, syrup has come to the boil, just give it a final stir just to make sure that sugar dissolved. And you really don't wanna be stirring it after that. You wanna let it do its, do its own thing. It's a case of being really vigilant and really keeping an eye on it, making sure it's cooking carefully. So right now you can see now that it's, it's started to reduce down, the water's coming out of it, leaving you with just that sugar. So now we've got kind of a syrup stage. You can see that with that, how thick the bubbles are coming out. Um, it's not so rapid anymore, it's not like a rapid boil. So our caramel is actually really starting to come through now. You can see it's, it's, it's still light, at this stage it's quite light, but it's now really starting to cook through with the heat in the pan. So now we're just keeping an eye, I'm just really gently swirling it so that I can make sure that it's evenly colouring up. Probably in the next minute or so we're going to have the kind of colour that we want. Don't be scared at this stage. If you're not sure or you're worried that your caramel is going to burn, then you need to really be watching it. And if you're, if you're worried about it going too hot, take it off the stove immediately because uh, the caramel will continue cooking. And I'm actually gonna lift it off now. It's really starting to tinge up. But what we want is we want that dark roasted flavor because we almost want like a, a slight bitterness in our caramel that is ready to come out. So I'm literally gonna pour it into our mold. So if you've got a gastronome or uh, any sort of dish that can hold this, then you wanna get it straight in. You need to be quite fast now and just be careful because it's very hot and you wanna swirl, swirl that caramel around. Even now, even because, because it's so hot, the caramel is still cooking, so it is getting a bit darker. So I'm literally swirling it to the sides because I want the caramel to hit the sides of the pan so that the custard doesn't stick. Because when we, when we put the custard in and we put it in the oven, the caramel is going to help release it from the tin. So I've got my 12 eggs here. You're going to want uh, eight of those as yolks and four of those as uh, whole eggs. So we're going to separate our whites. So I've got two containers here. It's always best when you're trying to separate um, egg whites to crack the egg on a flat surface. It avoids you damaging the yolk or damaging the egg. So I'm going to start separating our whites. I need eight egg yolks whole. The next four we're going to um, separate using our hands. So as long as you've got clean hands, you can allow the egg to just sit in your hand to allow the rest of the uh, egg whites to come out. So I'll just literally tip it in my hand like that and just slightly open your, your fingers up and allow those whites to come out. Let me just put that there. If you need to, just tip it again into your other hand. Keep these leftover egg whites. You can um, make meringue with them. You can do many different desserts with egg whites. So always keep your egg whites. A little secret is that you can actually freeze them and they keep very well for about a month and you can still use them as normal. So keep all your egg whites. Don't waste anything, don't throw it away. So I'm gonna put that to the side, which leaves us with our mix. As you can see, I've got my condensed milk open and my evaporated milk. So I'm going to tip this all in here. I don't have a smaller whisk, so we've got quite a big one. 
Now we're gonna put our evaporated milk, one whole tin. Put that in there. And you wanna just kind of break the yolks now, but not, you don't need to really start whisking. And then we wanna get our condensed milk, dip that all in. Make sure we get every last bit of that out. So it's a very simple recipe. Very simple, you just got your eggs and you got your condensed milk and evaporated milk. Take our whisk, we just break up those egg yolks. And now we're gonna take our whisk, we're gonna combine it as opposed to whisking it because you really don't wanna get air in the flan. So as much as possible, we're just trying to combine it without actually folding air into it. Because what we want is we want a lovely, like kind of a soft, creamy, but dense texture. So we're trying to avoid putting as much air into it as possible. So just, just carefully whip that there, but you really don't want to fold air into it. Get yourself a sieve, and you really want to sieve this through because you want to take away any um, sediment impurities, and it will just give you, it will leave you a really, really fine leche flan. And if you want something smooth and silky when you're eating it, this is a, a must, a must do step. So we just literally take our sieve, take a clean container, pass that through and let it all fall in. Alrighty. You really don't need to press anything through this, just allow the, the rest of it to come through and there you go. So we put that in there. So our dark caramel, you're gonna see the color on that. Some people think this is burnt already, but this is what you want. You want that lovely dark colored flavor on there and then this will be ready to tip into our caramel base so that we can now look at getting it in the oven. So. Right now, so we're ready to cook our flan, our caramel set, the uh, flan mix is ready. What we're gonna do is we're gonna literally take our set caramel and we're gonna take our mix, we're just gonna beautifully uh, pour that in and allow it to just distribute nice and evenly around our flan, um, our tin. If we want to remove any air bubbles, because some people always ask about air bubbles in Leche Flan, one little trick that we do is we get a little blowtorch. So if you've got one, just need to light it. So get your blowtorch, and you'll see on the flan that it's got these um, bubbles on the top here. So you literally run your blowtorch over the top, and it's literally just going to explode those bubbles. Literally, just like 30 seconds over there. And that's it. And that's how you remove uh, any bubbles or pockets of air in your custard or your flan mix. So on the back of, the sto of my gas stove here, I've got a gastronome of water, just a little bit. I'm just literally bringing it up to uh, steaming or boiling point. And then we're gonna place that in our oven. We're gonna place this in first. It's just a bit safer to do it like this. So that goes in. And then we've got our flan mix. Now we can use take the flan mix, put it on top. So obviously making sure that the water is not over full so that it doesn't spill out. And we can literally place that in. So the oven is set to 140 degrees um, centigrade. So I would say the lower the better. So you can actually do it even lower if you wanted to, but I'd say 140 is a really good um, starting point and you're looking at about probably 30, 30 to 40 minutes. But I would check it every 20. So check it 20, maybe rotate it so that it cooks evenly in your oven. Okay, so after about half an hour to 40 minutes and make sure, making sure you've checked it all, um, it looks like it's ready and you wanna really just check by checking there's a little wobble on it. So you just really wanna wobble that tray and if, you, if that egg is not like really runny, it's, it's pretty much ready to go. So here it is. And you can see that it's just got a slight wobble to it, but it's set. And all we're gonna do now is gonna literally let that cool down at a na nice natural rate. And that's gonna um, be our leche flan ready. And then we'll be able to tip it out, cut it and serve it. Okay, so once your flan is cooled down and it's set, we're basically ready to tip it out. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a nice um, uh, sharp knife. We'll probably uh, wet it a little bit, a little bit of hot water. And we're just gonna quickly run it round the edges of our flan base, just to start to loosen it from the uh, caramel so that we can tip it out. And there we go. So it's already loose now. And this is the fun part. 
So I'll get my chopping board or maybe a tray. You could use a tray if you wanted to. Literally going to flip this on top. And then we're going to flip the lecture fan in three, two, one. And <laughs> there we go. Just let that sit for a second. So this is uh, all that caramel juice all on top. So we literally, we are going to take a plate. I'm gonna portion, get a nice peak portion out of it. Obviously, if you wanted to, you could just eat this as it is, take a spoon, like some, get your family members around the table and, and eat it, but we're gonna cut a nice portion from it. So I'm gonna just this one move. Let me get that middle. So you can see the dark caramel on top and then the light um, flan underneath and it just looks so beautiful. So there it is. See that caramel. So you want that dark roasted flavor of the caramel. And look, there's so much caramel, I think it's falling onto our table here. So I'm just gonna plonk that right in the middle. And you can see it's got a beautiful uh, texture to it. It's, it's very smooth, it's very creamy. Now, just to finish, we're just gonna literally take some of that amazing caramel sauce and we're just gonna lightly drizzle on there so it can fall off, really get that caramel in there. So there you have it guys, that's my take on the Leche Flan. It's got a dark caramel base and uh, condensed milk, evaporated milk and eggs as the, uh, the custard. A very simple dessert, really great with like, um, you can have it with nuts, you can have it with toasted oats or even some sour fruits. In one of my pop-up restaurants, I even serve this with lime sorbet and um, roasted uh, cashew nut praline. And it's just, uh, it's really um, Im impressed a lot of my guests. So please give this recipe a try. Thank you for watching. And um, I hope to see you on my next episode. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please hit subscribe. Thanks for watching guys, peace. And we're just gonna lightly. <laughs> I replayed it, mate.